Hello there. Hello, hello, good evening. Can you listen to me? Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. Okay, thank you, Lavina. Thank you, David. Okay, so today we have our last session. Okay, so it was amazing to be practicing with you in this module. So in order to finish, I'm going to be asking you different questions related to the topics that we checked. And what I want you to do is to try to use as much vocabulary and as many structures as possible, okay? For example, we have this question. What do you see around yourself? I want you to focus right now in everything that you have around you and tell me some sentences using there is, there are some quantifiers, countables and uncountable nouns. So focus on everything that you have around yourself. Is the idea clear for the exercise? Yes, it's clear. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes so you can order your ideas and then you share with us, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, are you ready or not yet? It's not yet, teacher. Okay, no problem.
Hello, Nicolás. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm pretty well. What about you? Very good, teacher. So tight, but very good. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Uh, right now, we are just uh, answering this question related to everything that you have around you. So in order to answer the question, you have to use there is, there are, quantifiers, and of course, countable and uncountable nouns. So we can check that specific information. So just tell me what you have around you. Is that okay, Nicolás? Okay. Good. All um, right. Right now uh -huh. or later? Sure. If you are ready, tell me. Uh, how many, how many uh, sentences? As many as you can tell me. Everything that is around you. Okay. Uh, there are two computers. Uh, there is uh, a notebook. Um, there is a refrigerator. Uh, I know. There are two two windows. Mm, there is two. There are two tables, and there are two candy red candy red. Candy breath. Okay. Okay. Um, only that. Excellent. Albino? And countable now, there are a bowl of soccer, and there are two glass. Also, there are two pair of shoes. And there are three wallets and okay. uncountable mm -hmm. there there is less milk than soda and there is some bread and there is a little money okay excellent David? in my case is uh, there are many vegetables in the fridge and there are very few pencil in in my house and there is a cell phone on table on table and there is a little milk in the fridge uh, there is less sugar than coffee in my house okay uh, there there are a few cookies You got it, excellent. Okay, let's move along with the next question. Excellent job, everybody. Okay, now I want you to think about your past. What did you do in your last birthday? That is the question. Remember, try to use the structures so we can get all of the information from the past. Again, I'm going to give you two minutes so you can order your ideas and then you tell. Think about what did you do in your last verdict? Remember, describe as much as you can. The idea is to use as much vocabulary as possible.
Okay, are you ready? Okay, Nicolas. Okay, Albino, are you ready? Yes, I try. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, in my in my last birthday, I woke up early morning because I went to work that day. And when I arrived to my work to work, my co-works congratulate me and I went back home, my mother cooked me my favorite dish. And later I went to the, the theater with my friends and they sing me, no, sung me. Sang to me? The, eh, ¿cómo? They sang to me. They, they sang to me the the happy birthday okay. and I was enjoying I was enjoying that day that's all excellent thank you Albino and David and my last beer day um, I have a big, big breakfast uh, after that I I ate cake I did a, a special plate for the family. I made drinks, for example, uh, frozen for my family. Uh, then we meet with the with my friends, and only that. Okay, excellent, David. Nicolas. Okay. Uh... I woke up very early and I received a call of my grandmother. Uh, she, each birthday, she sing me a song and it's a good. Then I arrived to my job and all the friends give me congratulations and I received a lot of, a lot of gifts. And when I arrived to my home, share a cake with my family okay excellent very nice description let's continue with another question now in this part you have to think about one specific experience that for you has been the most beautiful okay so again, I'm going to give you two minutes so you can think about this experience and tr again, try to describe it as much as possible. So we can have as much details as we can. All right, so take two minutes, order your ideas and then you tell.
Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Um, right now, we are answering this question. So you can think and order your ideas, and then you tell me the answer. Okay. All right. Okay, are you ready? Oh, not yet. Okay. Okay, Nicolas, okay. share I with us. That, okay, I think that the most beautiful experience for me was when I got uh, on a plane for the first time because that was my first travel to Costa Rica and it was so stressful because I didn't know what to do into the airport. But in conclusion, all the travel was so good. Amazing. Nice. Okay. Um, David? In my case, uh, the most beautiful experience I be had was me, was me, why 
with my family when I graduated from university it has been one of the great greatest success in my life because in this country it's very difficult okay interesting that. that is true okay thank you david um let me see alvino Uh, the most beautiful experience that I have ever had is when I went to the volcano, the Santa Ana volcano, because I had never gone to the, that place and I had climbed to the top of volcano with my family. For the general, that place is very cold, but when I went to it, the weather was a little hot. Okay, that sounds nice. Very good, Alvino. Okay, let's continue. Next question, so we can keep practice. Okay, now I want you to think about your English platform, okay? Think about the uh, all of the English activities that you have completed, okay? What activities did you complete and which activities you haven't finished, okay? In order to answer these questions, I want you to keep in mind the use of the expressions already, just, ever, never, and yet, okay? So you are going to have like a mix of the simple past and the present perfect. So you can tell me about these activities. Is the idea clear for these questions? And puedo volver a repetir. Sure. Um, think about the English platform, okay? The English platform that you have to complete so you can get the certificate, okay? Mm -hmm. That you finish the module. So think about the activities that you completed in the past, the activities that are finished, completed, and think about the activities that you have not finished. Okay, the activities that are not complete. So I want you to give me the sentences using the simple past for the ones that you completed and the present perfect for the ones that you have not finished. Is the idea clear? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, so again, I'm going to give you two to three minutes and then you can start sharing. Hello, Horan. Welcome. Hello. Thanks. Okay. Um, right now we are answering these questions, Horan. What activities did you complete from the English platform and which activities you haven't finished? I don't know. I worked in the platform and finish i don't know if there are if are there other activities so you have your certificate already yes uh, some days ago i i download my certificate but in this moment was um, abducted because the date was different. Oh, the date, yeah, that's true. Okay, so you have completed everything. Yes, I complete. 
Okay, nice. All right. So we are just going to wait for the classmates so they can tell us what they have, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, are you ready? Okay. I already have completed the exercise about the present perfect. Um, I already have completed the exercise of how much, or how many. I haven't completed the last topic topics yet, and I haven't completed the exam number true number three maybe yet and i just have a 75 percent of the platform right now okay excellent thank you nicolas albino i have already done the exam from unit three and four and also, I haven't done the exam from the last unit yet. And I haven't received the certification yet because I haven't finished the module. Or model. Okay. The module. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, David? In my case, I have already finished finish it the topic about present perfect versus simple past. I haven't finished the unit five about how, how, how have you shank yet? Okay, excellent. And Catherine? Um, I think I already completed the 87% of the activities, but um, I haven't completed the exam yet. Ah, okay. So you're almost there. Yes. Nice. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Okay. Now in the next question, we have two different answers here. Okay, question number one is what are you going to do this weekend? your plans for this weekend. And in the second question is, what would you like to do instead? For example, I am going to work this weekend, but I would like to watch a movie or go to the beach, okay? So we are going to be using be going to and would like, 
in order to answer. Is the idea clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. So whenever you're ready, you let me know. Okay, are we ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, that is? Uh, in my case, I'm going to work all, all day, sadly. <laughs> uh, but I would like to visit the Centro Historico of San Salvador or a natural place around or near of my city, my city, Only Okay, that. that sounds nice. 
to go to the nature, that would be amazing. Okay, um, Nicolás. I would like, I would like. Yeah, I think so. I would like to. But we have to work, sadly. Okay, Nicolás. I am going to play basketball, but I would like to play soccer. And I am going to repair the motor's car, but I would like to go to the beach. And okay, I am going to I am going to study English, but I would like to know English now. Uh, right now and not to study right <laughs> yeah yeah don't worry it takes time but soon yeah. you know you will know with your help teacher yeah of course yeah. all of your teachers are here to help okay okay Catherine what about you um this weekend I am going to meet my family and we are going to have a family lunch. Um, instead of that, I would like, uh, well, I'm actually, I'm okay with that. But for example, I would like travel to a cold mountain. Yeah, I would love that too. The weather, it has been horrible these days. Yes. I know. Okay, Koran, what about you? Okay, this weekend, uh, I'm going to go to study in the evening. And this is Saturday and Sunday. I going to stay in my house and work in the uh, housework. And instead, I would like to go to visit my parents and go to the beach. Okay, nice. Thank you, Koran. And we're going to finish with Albino. And Saturday, Saturday morning, I'm going to shopping with my sister, but I would like to stay at home watching TV. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and also uh, Saturday night, I'm going to watch a scary movie. But I would like to sleep early. Ah, okay. What movie are you going to watch? I don't know. The The Exorcist, maybe. Ah, okay. So, any scary movie? Yes, yes. Okay, nice. Well, I hope you enjoy it. All right, and this is going to be the last question so we can finish with our review, okay? So in the last question, I would like you to think about what is your routine for Christmas? Because um, you know that every year we have like different things to do, right? But what is something that you normally do on Christmas? The activities that are part of your routine that every year is exactly the same. So what is your routine for Christmas? Is the instruction clear for this question? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So again, I'm going to give you two to three minutes so you can order your ideas and then you share with us. If you are ready, just let me know.
Teacher. I tried I tried okay, without without right. All right. I try. Okay, I wake up very early because I I am very excited because it's Christmas and then I go with my parents to the supermarket um, and then maybe staying home with my parents and my brothers and I, I then we go to my grandmother's house every every day every year is very similar and then uh, we we arrive to my home and and we eat we eat uh, i don't know uh, chicken maybe with wine and that's all okay that's an amazing plan good Anybody else is ready? Did you? What on? In my case, we usually go to visit to my parents and uh, always uh, make sandwich. And we meet, all family meet in this house and speak and stay until midnight and go bed. Only that. Okay, that's nice. Good. Anybody else who's ready? David? Um, um, I normally uh, go to the shops um, e before everything. I go to the shops for the clothes, clothes and shoes. shoes. Um also I have a I have a high cut. Also we prepare the plates special. I made uh drinks for for the family, for example, like uh, frozen um uh, drinkings prepared um for example, um, Cuba Libre, um, Piña Colada, no sé cómo se dice en English. And, and, I, and I use this moment. Only that. Okay, excellent. Just let me check something about that piña colada because I think that is the word. I don't think that is a, a definition, but let me check. Okay, so yes, actually you don't translate it because that is the original name. So you just say that piña colada is a, is a cocktail, but yeah. You say it like that, piña colada is piña colada. You don't translate. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, Albino? Okay. For the general, during the day is normal. I wake up early morning, I go to work. It's a normal day, but at night is different. I go to the grandmother's house, and there we meet with my family. We play video games and I eat chicken soup and drink soda. Sometimes, sometimes I drink beer and liquor. And 
I dance the bala songs. That's okay. it. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, and um, we are going to finish with Catherine. Um, my routine for Christmas is uh, first we go to my parents' house or they come to my house. Um, later we go to my father's in law house and dinner again. Um, we spend time with my daughter and her fireworks. Um, after that, uh, meet with my friends and dinner one more time and and that's it. Okay. Uh, just something. When you talk about your mother and your father-in-law together, you just mentioned your in-laws. You don't have to say my father in my father's in-law because remember that we have mother-in-law and father-in-law. Or if you want to, you can also say my parents in law. Okay. All right, excellent. So thank you very much, everybody. It was a pleasure to share with you this module. It was a, an amazing experience. I hope that you got to learn something and I hope that you continue learning more in the future, okay? So again, congratulations for finishing this module. Don't forget to finish the platform. If you have any questions or something that I can help you with, you have my phone number, so I will be glad to help. So thank you very much. And enjoy the weekend. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. See you later. See you. Thank you so much. See nice you. pleasure. See you. Have a nice night. So you.